Angela Jordan, owner of Move Up Marketing Group, and I am your marketing girl. And if you're here, it's because you wanna know how to do TikTok. And this is how to do TikTok part nine. So if you're like, I really don't know what TikTok is, be sure to watch how to do TikTok parts one through eight, because it shows you how to make your account all the way to how to go live. And that is today's topic, how to go live. Actually, it's how do you go live on TikTok? It's the response to how do you go live on TikTok? And you're at this point, you're like, but wait a minute, Linda, I watched part eight and that was about how to go live, how to go live on TikTok. And I say, yes, you are right. Thank you for watching part eight. But guess what? This is actually mo more about how to not get banned on your live. So this video is gonna tell you how to not get banned on your life. All right, so stay tuned. Now, let's take my phone. Ta-da! And as you know, if you've been watching how to do TikTok parts one through eight, you will know that I'm always, I, I have this phone to show you exactly what's going on. Where I get my information from and all the information that you will hear me saying on this video today is based on case studies, actual case studies that I have done on the TikTok platform. Now, if you're not following me on TikTok, my handle is at Morm Mom, M-O-R-M-M-O-M. So go ahead and follow me there, please. Thank you. All right, so now I'm going to pull up this phone and why you're like, Linda, you should have this memorized. And I say, no, sorry, I'm extremely busy. I run a marketing firm and I can't have it memorized, but guess what? I have it right here. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna turn the sign sound off so it doesn't distract us. Oh, that didn't do anything. I'm gonna have to turn the volume off. There we go. Now, why did I pull this up for you? I'm actually gonna look at my comments section and I'm going to see what I do on my TikTok platform is I do live case studies. Why do I do live case studies? Because I want to know what the general TikTok community has for me as far as answers are concerned. Because I am one person and my experience is different from the other people. And in order to provide you with incredibly valuable information, this is what I do. I do live case studies on TikTok, I gather the information, and I feature the responders in this video. So if you're watching this and you are one of the people that responded to my live case study, and um, then you'll be featured right here, as promised. Okay, so, Red Beans and Bryce, who I'm friends with on TikTok says, oh, so the question was, uh, have you ever been banned on a live? Please share your experience with me, right? So this is kind of what I did with my case study. And he said, yes, because I was moving my shoulders and I was told my dancing was too inappropriate. So, he was banned on his life for dancing in a certain way. Whoa, amazing, right? So I guess suggestive dancing in any way, shape or form is not allowed during your life. Why do you think this is? It's because there are kids there. And I'm sure that, you know, any type of suggestive dancing can be not great for the kids to view. So be careful guys, no, no suggestive dancing on TikTok lives. Now, he also said, I also got banned from listening to music from my TV. That is huge. So if your TV is on or your YouTube is on um, and you're listening to music from it and during your life, you could get banned for this, guys. So be careful about that. Um, I think there was a TikToker, uh, Gab Warrior girl. She's also featured on my other video, I think it's TikTok part three, and I'm actually gonna put her information in the description, so watch out for that. But basically, um, I, she told me, I think it was Soundbed or something like that. I will put, I'll put it in my description once I figure it out, the correct name. But basically, there is a free site that, and it's actually a paid site, but you can listen to music for free um, up until a certain point. Um, you know, I think they cut off each song after a certain point. It's kind of almost like a trailer, if you will, of songs. I don't know if that's the proper term, but anyway, you can actually listen to that type of music and you can actually do your live listening to that. I think it is Soundbit. I will have to take a check and I will put it in the description. So be sure to look for that. Um, and she said that that was available. 
Okay, so I said, well, thank you so much. Now, uh, Helen Osmani, another TikToker said, yes, they banned me. I looked at the age requirements and it says you have to be above 16 and above 18 to get gifts, yet I still got banned. So if you watched my other video, how to go live on TikTok, um, it, TikTok part, it was how to do TikTok part eight, I tell you about what kind of gifts you can get um, and the fact that you can get digital gifts on TikTok. So, and I actually I heard this from some other people as well. They got banned on TikTok because they looked too young. And I remember seeing one TikToker, <clears throat> although he didn't post his answer here and I can't feature him in this particular YouTube video, I did see his video and it was actually a post about how he got banned on TikTok because he looked too young. Uh, so better put the false mustache on when you go on TikTok, kids. <laughs> so actually what he had to do was he had to um, email them an ID, I believe, until, he, until they said, oh, okay, so you are over 18 and you can go live um, and, uh, <clears throat> and get gifts. Okay, so here we go. Trampus underscore underscore Hawk said, not banned, but was streaming a marching band and was given a copyright warning. So that, I guess that can happen as well. And that is exactly kind of what we discussed before. You can't really use other music that is copyrighted. So be careful about that. You can get banned on a live for doing that. Um, another TikToker, Lauren.douse said, misbehavior of teenagers, question mark? What's that even mean? I mentioned the fact that I recently broke my spine and and then after talking about it, got the, the live got taken down. So I said, well, gee, I hope you're okay and it, that, that doesn't really make any sense. Okay, so these were the comments that I got that I can actually pull up right now and they will be featured um, right here in this video. As we speak, they should have been featured or if not, they're featured right now according to how my video editor does it, right? Okay, so here's another valuable information. Let me pull it up because um, another uh, another TikToker, Dad King Ethan, actually provided me snapshots as well of being banned on a live and I'm going to show you that. So let me pull that up really quickly here. So, here we go. So when you get a violation, guys, um, and when you're banned on your live, it looks a bit like this. And it kind of shows you what he got violated for. And he said I can share this with you guys. So let's all thank him. Thanks, Ethan. Like that. Oh, it just went up. So basically it says your live stream violated our community guidelines or virtual items policy. And it says find our guidelines and policies in the TikTok app and privacy and settings. And then it says username and it says doesn't meet age requirements and it says the time of violation. Oops. And it says number of violation 12 times. Poor guy. He got, I think he got 13 after a while. But anyway, live stream restrictions seven days. So it's seven days, he said, per violation. So, because I said, how long does a ban last? And he said, it lasts seven days. And he said, even verified users were posting my videos, then they would unban me and then ban me again. So, so maybe he was banned from posting too. I'm gonna have to ask him about this actually. Um, he also sent another snapshot, violation details. Um, and it says violation type misbehavior of teenagers. And what he said was, there you go, see, you can, you can see that. And he said, I can share that with you guys. And it says number of violations one time, live stream restrictions seven days. Um, basically, he said that because I guess he only goes to school sometimes based on the way his school operates. Um, so essentially what happened was they, TikTok thought he was not going to school and maybe they thought he was being truant, but he wasn't. Um, maybe he's homeschooled. I don't know the, how, how exactly how his school system or how his, that procedure works. But anyway, he told me that that's why he thinks he got banned for that. Um, and then, uh, 
So, oh, okay, and then he was talking about some guy who, okay, so these were all different things he talked about, and I don't feel like scrolling all the way. <laughs> well, while we're live here, you can watch me scroll on my phone. Wouldn't that be great? Okay, guys, so that pretty much sums it up. I kind of listed a variety of methods on how you can get banned on a live. So be sure not to do any of those things. And to kind of reiterate, um, or just sum, sum it all up, basically I believe we talked about not using copyrighted music, um, we talked about no inappropriate dancing or suggestive dancing, um, we talked about uh, going to school regularly and not just living all the time, um, we talked about, uh, what else did we talk about guys? Anyway. Be sure to watch this video and take notes because I didn't, but I am going off of all my case studies and providing incredibly valuable information to you, um, as I will always do. So please be sure to like, subscribe, share this video with everyone you love, and hit the notifications bell so you'll know every single time I make a new video for you. And I'll see you on the next one.